Hi everyone. Welcome to our channel. In this video, we're gonna discuss how to record sales in QuickBooks Online. This session includes how to add customers, how to create products and services, how to create invoice, how to create sales receipts, and how to record bank deposits. If you like this video, make sure you click the like button, share it, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on accounting and tax related videos. Let's get started. There are two ways to record sales in QuickBooks Online. The invoice and sales receipt. So here comes the question. What's the difference? So let's understand this first, before going ahead. Actually the difference is pretty simple. If you complete a sale of a product or service, but the payment due at a later date, you're going to use the invoice to record sales. And then, you need to record a separate transaction for when you receive the payment from the customer. In this case the business would record one invoice for every sales they made. But if your customer makes the payment due upon completion of the sales, or the payment is due immediately, then you're going to use the sales receipt. Here you're recording the sales and receipt of money at the same time. These business would usually record one sales entry for all of the day's sales. Let's go over how to create invoice in QuickBooks Online. Go to New and select Invoice. The first thing is to record customer's name. Select an existing customer from the list or add new customer. If you want to add a new customer, you can add by selecting add new. Type the customer name and tax registration number and save. Or click details to enter more details about your customer. Type the title. Type the company name. Click here to select display the name how you want. Type TRN. Type the email ID. Enter phone number. Type billing address. and save. Here you will notice that the QuickBooks populates both the billing address and the email address for this customer. Select the terms. Terms set the number of days a customer has to pay the invoice. Select the date. The date should be the day you send the invoice or the date you issue the invoice. Select sale location. In the product and service area, enter what you are charging the customer for. You can select the product or service from the drop-down list or simply create it by clicking add new. Here you can see four classifications for product or service. Inventory, non-inventory, service, and bundle. You can choose inventory if you want to manage inventory with QuickBooks. Choose non-inventory if you are selling physical things, but don't want a track of exactly how many you have. You can choose service for any services that you're going to sell to your customer. Bundle our collection of product and services that you sell together. Choose this if you want to sell both product and service. Let's select service for now. Type the name of the service. Select category. Type the description of your service. Type sales price or rate. You can enter these two details while you create the invoice as well. Select the income account as sales. Select the tax rate. 
and then click save and close. Once you select the product or service, you can enter the description here. Enter the rate. The tax rate will populate here, as we set up the VAT details already. Please check out our video on how to set up VAT details, if you are not sure, how to set up VAT details in QuickBooks. The video link is in the description below. You can enter a message here, to include in the invoice. Here you can add a statement memo. A statement memo shows up a note, on your customer statement. You have several options, to save the invoice. You can save the invoice and keep working on it. You can save a new if you want to save the invoice, and create another one. You can save and close, which saves the invoice, and brings you back whatever you were working on before. Or you can save and share a link, which lets you write an email to your customer, and we'll attach the invoice to the email. Let's select save and send. On the left, you can see the subject, and body of the email. On the right, you can see a preview, of what your customer will receive. Select send and close to send the invoice. QuickBooks will confirm, that the email was sent to your customer. Now let's go over how to create sales receipt in QuickBooks Online. Go to New and select Sales Receipt. Customer information is optional in Sales Receipt, but if you want to track sales by customer, then you should enter it. Select the date. Select Sale Location. Select the payment method from this list, or you can add new payment method by clicking add new. If your customer paid by check, then select check and type the check number here. Let's select cash for now. Then select the account where you want to deposit the money. For now we will select undeposited fund as we received cash and yet to deposit. An undeposited fund is a temporary account, in QuickBooks, that holds the payments, if you plan to deposit later into the bank. You can combine several transactions like this, into a single bank deposit. We'll show you how to record bank deposit, at the end of this video. But if you already deposited to bank, then you can select the bank account. Select the product or service. Enter the description, and the amount. Select tax rate. Once you're done, click save and send. Or choose one of the other save option. You can see the customer receipt here. Select send and close, if you don't want to change subject line and body. This is how you create sales receipt, in QuickBooks Online. Let's record the bank deposit now. This is the last step in the sales process. If you remember, we've selected the undeposited fund while recording, sales receipt. Go to the chart of account, and look for undeposited fund. The balance here in the undeposited fund, is 1050 Emirati dirhams. We're gonna move this balance, to bank account. To record the deposit, click on new, and then select, bank deposit. Choose the bank account you're depositing the money to. Enter the date of deposit. You can see the transaction from your undeposited fund account. Here you can see the total amount matches with, what you saw in the chart of account. Click the checkbox, to select the transaction. Make sure your deposit amount in QuickBooks, and amount in bank statement are same. Once you're done, click on save and close, to complete the process. 
Now in the chart of account, undeposited fund is zero, and 1050 Emirati dirhams moved to bank account. This is the end of our session. Hope this tutorial is helpful to you. Let us know in the comments, if you have any doubts. Click the like button, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel to get updated on our latest videos. Our next video is on how to record total daily sales, from PAW system to QuickBooks Online. So don't miss it. Thanks for watching.